Assalamu alaikum dear brothers and sisters and welcome to Quran and Islam. We hope you're preparing well for your akhirah. Scientists and researchers are bringing in new evidence every day to prove what Allah has said in the Quran and what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam has said in the hadith. Just recently a statue of an old woman was discovered on the top of a mountain. This mountain peak is called Mount Sodom and is located near the Dead Sea in Israel. This statue made from salt is probably Allah's way of reminding us of something very important. Let's see what this statue means. Who made this statue? Who was this old woman? What is the relation of this statue with the growing trend of homosexuality today? It worries us to see how common homosexuality has become. People are coming out to normalize men getting married to men and women getting married to women. In today's world, when the western media has taken over the world, our generation is confused. Brothers and sisters, we should make sure that our kids know how big a sin this is. It can bring destruction and azab on a community. Do we not remember what happened to the people of Lut alayhi salam? This salt statue of the old woman who was the wife of Hazrat Lut alayhi salam is a sure example. Yes, the statue that has been discovered by the Dead Sea is of Hazrat Lut alayhi salam's wife. All the signs match with the teachings of the Quran and Bible and it has been confirmed. Subhanallah. Here's why Allah made her into a stone. When the whole nation of Sodom indulged in homosexuality and they refused to obey the orders of Allah, Hazrat Lut alayhi salam made a prayer. He asked Allah to help him, give him victory and punish these people. Allah sent four angels in the form of handsome looking men. Lut alayhi salam felt helpless and powerless. He wanted to protect those men, but he knew that the people of Sodom will forcefully do the same act with them. He invited them over to his house for a meal and told them to leave immediately. The men told Lut alayhi salam that we are not ordinary men. We are the angels of Allah. We have come to deliver a message. Allah says in the Quran, O Lut, we are your Lord's messengers. They will not reach you. Leave with your household in the dead of night and let none of you turn back. Only your wife will suffer the fate that befalls the others. Their appointed time is the morning not near. Nobody knew that Lut alayhi salam has four young handsome men in his house, but his wife told the people of the town. They gathered around Hazrat Lut alayhi salam's house and asked to give them those men. Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam stepped out and struck them in their eyes. All of them lost their eyesight. They said, What kind of magic is this? and then left. But they also told Lut alayhi salam that they will come back the next day to take the men. Lut alayhi salam left with his family and when the sun rose, the decree of Allah was fulfilled. A severe punishment descended upon the people and destroyed all of them. Allah punished them in such a terrifying way that it has become an ibrat for the generations and generations till now. Allah describes the tragedy in Quran as and we rained upon them a rain of stones. Then see how the end of the criminals was. On the saving of Lut alayhi salam, Allah says in the Holy Quran, We saved him and all his family except for an old woman who was behind. In this ayat, the old woman who looked behind was Hazrat Lut alayhi salam's wife. She was not directly involved in the sin, but she supported the people of Sodom. So when the punishment was inflicted, she looked back with sympathy and Allah froze her right there. So that till today, she is a monument made of salt and stone and ibrat for all those who are not directly involved in the sin, but they consider homosexuality to be acceptable. Astaghfirullah. Brothers and sisters, do you see the timing of the appearance of this statue? Just when homosexuality was being legalized by countries, and when our generations begin to indulge in it, just when they were about to forget how big a sin this is, Allah reminds the people. He lets them know what He did to the disobedient then and what He can do to the disobedient today.
Astaghfirullah. May Allah protect us from committing such sins. Let us know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss an update. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.